guys, and today we're going to be doing the review of the Lancer Tactical M24. Um, there's not much really to say about this gun. It's a great uh, weapon of choice, honestly. Um, it's got a really thick polymer stock. Um, the stock on it's uh, heavy grade polymer. Um, the back, you got the back here for uh, you shooters that you can adjust your uh, stock length to your choosing. The trigger pull is also very, very light. You can really um, choose however you want it. You, uh, if you take it apart and you can adjust the trigger pull. The spring, or the magazine, I'm sorry. The magazine is a 25 round magazine. Very easy to load with the speed loader. Um, it fits in most pistol mag pouches. It's a really, really good uh, mag. Um, there's really not much difference between this gun and the Hawkridge SSG24 as far as the looks, but the performance is completely different. This gun right here is accurate for about uh, 60 meters. And after 60 meters, you know, you kind of you kind of have your upsides and downsides with it. Uh, the Novartis SSG, uh, it's good for it's good for at least 95 meters, just depending on the type of spring and pistons, hop up chamber that you have put in it. Um, the barrel, it's got the straight fluted barrel. It's not the swirled. It's the straight fluted. Um, the rail mounts, it's got the Picatinny rail. Uh, great for any scope mount that you want to get. Um, right now I've got the Simmons uh, 3 and 9 by 40 uh, scope. Love it. Um, the mag insert is right here. Although some people uh, complain they, they want it to be more like the uh, M20, the actual M24, the mag would be right here. But due to the spring and the lever, you're not able to have the actual magazine right there because the BB wouldn't have anywhere to go into the barrel from from right here. Because right here's all your spring, here's where the barrel starts, and then it goes. But um, the actual spring itself, it's got the M140 spring in it. So it's about 480 to 490 uh, feet per second. Um, it's really easy to pull back, but it is a loud sniper for what it, um, for its, uh, for a sniper, airsoft sniper, it is kind of loud. But, um, as far as that, it's really sturdy made. Not much shape to it, except for, of course, the sling mount back here, the wiggle. Um, the hop up, it's right here on the side, makes it way more easier to adjust versus being down here. And having to adjust it with an Allen wrench. Um, but yeah, let's take this to the range and see how it does. And we will determine how good of a rifle this actually is. So as you can see, it's pretty accurate at 30 meters. We shot at both of these targets here. And we got um, got a pretty good grouping here. And this one right here was a dial-in. And the rest of these was a pretty good grouping. So you can tell it's pretty good 
accuracy from the Lancer Tactical M24. All right, so after shooting it, it's a really, really, we see the range of it, uh, the accuracy, it's a really accurate rifle. Um, the scope on it is the Simmons. Uh, you can get these uh, on, on our website at Southland uh, SLA Store dot website two. Um, the best BBs to use with this gun in my choice is the Bulldog 32 gram. Uh, they're only about 12.99 for 2,000 count. They're really good BBs. Uh, they're biodegradable. Um, so as far as what I think personally of this gun, I'd recommend it to anybody. I mean, I already use it. I'd recommend it to anybody that wants to be an airsoft sniper, uh, anybody that wants, that's getting into it. The mags aren't that expensive. They're like 12, 14 bucks. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the review of the Lancer Tactical M24. We'll see you guys next Monday.